Hey everyone, Andy with Andy's Auto Care Plus. Uh, coming at you guys with a quick tip on, on how to help you kind of bring rubber trim back to life. We've, we've talked about plastic trim here on this channel, which the go-to for that is definitely a solution finish or like black wow, something to that nature. Um, that doesn't typically work on what we're going to talk about right now. Um, so if you are struggling with trying to find a product to help you coat or bring back to life rubber surfaces, this is your winner. So I'm going to show you, kind of bring you in, show you what I'm talking about here. We're talking about this stuff. This is a very beat up rubber surface. It's not your typical hard plastic. This is like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain if you haven't, you know, actually seen this stuff before. But you have your harder, more ABS style plastic, which is this stuff right here. All this trim is pretty beat up. Uh, already got done with the other side. Uh, so this is the typical like ABS style plastic. This is like a rubber. This process can also be used on this kind of stuff right here on the w rubber weather stripping. This in here, we did the other side with this. Um, so what that product is, is this stuff right here. It's bumper coat dressing and protectant from PNS. Fantastic little product to have in your arsenal. I don't use it a whole lot, but in this kind of situation, it's a must have. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here. I've already added some to an applicator right here. We're just gonna go straight into doing this live one-handed. See how good we do. See if we can uh, get a nice even coat while I'm on the phone videoing. So we'll see. It's a little sticky and grabby. Um, if you've ever used this product, you would know what I'm talking about. So. Um, you should have the surface nice and dry. Obviously, we don't right there. This has a lot of other issues, so this isn't going for perfection on this vehicle. This is just uh, kind of bringing it back to life a little bit. So, obviously, that we got water spots and other issues. So, what I typically do is let it sit on there for about a minute to 30 seconds. Um, and it's just going to spend time kind of soaking into the rubber. Um, and I'll kind of go to the other side and show you. The other side was actually way worse. Probably should have done the video on that side but it's been about 30 seconds. We'll just go ahead and wipe it off. I mean, you can see the result right there. So after you kind of wipe off just the excess, I'm not really pushing. I'm just kind of doing a light wipe on this, essentially. So there's the end result. You guys can see it live, basically. So there you go. So this is already, at least it's black on this side. The other side was like gray and then turned out like this. So let me go show you guys the other side real quick. We're gonna make this just a nice short and sweet video for you guys. Hopefully you guys hit that like button and can appreciate that. So here's this side, this side's already done. Obviously we're gonna come in here and clean it up with some bead maker when we wipe down the whole vehicle. Um, this is just an older, like late 90s, early 2000s forward truck that, you know, that plastic and rubber has taken a beating. I think at some point, you know, somebody tried to, to wax it and got waxed just all over the place, but Anyway, there you go, guys. It's dry to the touch already. I mean, we'll probably touch up a little bit here and there, but wanted to do a quick result for you. I mean, it doesn't wipe off. It doesn't smear. Just a great, great product. And if you let it sit for a little bit longer, you're probably going to even get better results. So once again, bumper coat, dressing, and protect it from PNS. Um, I will try to find a link for this. If I can't find an Amazon link, I will... Uh, I'll give a link to their website um, if it's bought through their website. Of course, I won't make any money by any means, but that's okay. Uh, so if you guys would consider hitting that like button, hitting the subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace.